Hello everyone, this is Iran Talk and in this video I'd like to present the complete genetic history of ancient medieval and modern day Iranians. In other words, the primary objective of this video is to chart the complete genetic origins of modern day Iranians alongside their ancient and medieval ancestors. Overall, this video will be a slap in the face of those who believe that the modern day Iranians are thoroughly and heavily admixed with the Arabs, with the Turko Mongols, as well as Caucasian, Hellenic, and South Asian populations. So, without further ado, I'd like to begin this analysis. So, up first, we have the breakdowns for the ancient Iron Age Iranians from the sites of Dinka Tepe, from Hasanlu, and from Haji Faru. So, you can see their Iran calculated ancestry ranges from 55 to 68.2%. Their Yaz Aryan ancestry here ranges from 25% to as high as 31.2%. Ancient Semitic ancestry, best represented here by the late antique Arab component, ranges from 0 to 6.8%. So, they had a bit of this ancestry even during that time period. Then you can see Caucasian related ancestry ranging from 0 to 10.8 percent and finally South Asian ancestry appears in one of the samples at 7.8 percent. What should also be noted here is that the sample with the most Aryan ancestry is very akin to modern day Iranians though keep in mind that it's from the late Bronze Age. What that means is the ethnogenesis of the modern Iranians began during the late Bronze Age. Overall, as you can see here, these Iron Age Iranians derived the majority of their ancestry from a Iran Calcolithic and Yaz Aryan source, which is quite interesting and remarkable. And if you're interested in the genetic origins of the Yaz Aryan sample, please take a look at my previous video, which I've attached to the top right here. So here are the fits for these models, and you can see they're at two or below in three of the samples, and in one of them they do exceed two by just a little bit. Nonetheless, you can see since they're below two, for the most part, these models are sound, excellent, and very accurate. So these results are scientifically validated. Moving on, we have the samples from the Iron Age, which had the most Iranian plateau profile. So you can see their Iran calculated cancer ranges from 61.4 to 64.2%. Their Aryan from Yaz ancestry ranges from 27.4 to 28.2%. Their late antique Arab ancestry ranges from 4 to 4.4%. And finally, in one of the samples, South Asian ancestry does appear at 3.2%. And Caucasian ancestry is present in the Dinka Tepe plateau profile at 7.2%. So overall, what these results indicate is that on a genetic level, the Iron Age Iranians from the plateau were mostly genetically akin to modern day Iranians as you'll see and they also have significant Iran calculated ancestry as well as Yaz Aryan ancestry which is quite interesting. So here are the fits for these samples and you can see again they're excellent and they're below too which is quite interesting. What this means is that these models are again scientifically validated. Moving on, we have the breakdowns for the medieval Iranians. So you can see their Iran calculated ancestry here is heavy and it ranges from around about 45.8 to 53.4%. Their Yaz Aryan ancestry is also heavy here and ranges from 26.8 to 42.4%. Then you can see Neolithic East Asian ancestry only appearing in one of the samples at 4.2%. Modern Caucasian ancestry does appear in the early modern era Kurdish sample at 15.2%. Then you can see additional Arab late antiquity ancestry appearing in that sample and also South Asian ancestry appearing as well. And again, you can see that the medieval Iranian from Mongolia has a bit of East Asian ancestry at 4.2%. So as you can see that the medieval Iranians are largely genetically akin to the Iron Age ones. So here are the fits we have for the medieval Iranians. So you can see that they're below 2 for one of them. For the other it is above 2 at 2.8%. Nonetheless overall these are good models as well. So yeah that's essentially it for this phase of the video. In the next phase of the video I'll be taking a look at the genetic origins of modern day Iranians. So here we have the breakdowns for the Iranians. So you can see their Iran calculated ancestry ranges from 48 to 72 percent. Their Western Aryan or Aryan from Yaz ancestry ranges from 18.8 to as high as 35.4 percent. So it is significant. Then you can see minimal modern Caucasian ancestry not exceeding more than 7.2 percent. Ancient Hellenic ancestry only appears in three of the samples but does not exceed more than 9 percent. Then you can see South Asian ancestry here peaks at 9 percent but is minimal. Northeast Asian ancestry is minimal and only peaks at 3.4 percent. And finally Sub-Saharan African ancestry only appears in two of the samples and is minimal. So overall these results prove that the modern Iranians are mostly of Iran Calcolithic and a Western Aryan or Aryan descent. 
So also what you need to take into account here is that these uh, breakdowns were done using admixed sources of foreign ancestry. So these sources, with the exception of the Neolithic East Asian component, have significant Iranian farmer ancestry, which is very interesting. So if I used the unadmixed sources, Iranians would get around 95% genetic continuity, but this is done here just to show how much foreign ancestry Iranians have or are despite some of these sources having significant Iranian ancestry. So among these Iranians, so these are the uh, generic data set we have. You can see significant Iran calculated and Aryan descent and you can see for the most part their genetic continuity is greater than 85% with the exception of the southern Iranians which have additional Arab ancestry which is interesting though nonetheless you can see that overall these populations are largely genetically akin to the Iron Age Iranians with a bit more elevated foreign ancestry. Nonetheless these results are very much excellent so up next I'll be taking a look at the fits. So yeah, here are the fits for these models and you can see that they're excellent and for the majority of these samples they're less than two with the exception of three of them which again it means that these models are excellent. So moving on we have the breakdown for the Eastern Iranians. So these are the Horasani. So their Iran calculated ancestry ranges from 39.4 to 42.8%. Their Aryan from Yad ancestry ranges from 30.6 to 37%. Their modern Caucasian ancestry only peaks at 9.2% but is absent for the most part. Then you can see South Asian ancestry peaking at 15.8%, Neolithic East Asian ancestry peaking at 7.8%, Arab ancestry peaking at 4.8% and one of the samples has some Sub-Saharan African ancestry as well. So these results prove that the Horasanis of today are largely genetically contiguous though they have more foreign ancestry compared to the other Iranians. So here are the fits for the Horasanis and you can see that they are less than 2 in these models. So the final Iranian related population discussed here are the Iranians from Azad Mard's personal collection. So you can see here that their uh, Iran calculated ancestry is heavy and ranges from 54 to 68.4%. Their Aryan from Yad ancestry ranges from 12.6 to 32% which is interesting. Then you can also see ancestry deriving from a modern Caucasian source being elevated here and peaking at 13.4%. The Arab component is minimal here though as you can see it does peak at around about 9.6% and then you can also see South Asian ancestry being minimal though peaking at 7%. Neolithic East Asian ancestry only appears in few of the samples but does not exceed more than 5.4% and finally Sub-Saharan African ancestry only appears in one of the samples. So here are the fits and you can see that with the exception of one of the samples they are less than two so what this means is that these models are excellent and scientifically validated. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this phase of the video. In the next phase of the video, I'll be taking a look at the genetic origins of the Kurds and Azerbaijanis in light of their Aryan ancestry. And much like these previous analyses, I'll also be taking a look at the fits. So here we have the uh, breakdowns for the Kurds. So you can see their Iran calculated cancer ranges from 49.4 to 72.4%. Their Aryan from Yad ancestry ranges from 23% to as high as 33.4%. So it is significant here. South Asian ancestry among the Kurds as at a minimal and you can see with the exception of the Iranian Kurd from Kermanshah it does not exceed more than 6.4% so yeah that's quite interesting and then you can also see Neolithic East Asian ancestry being minimal not exceeding more than 2.4% Data Antique Arab ancestry does not exceed more than 9.8% Modern Caucasian ancestry does not exceed more than 9.2% and finally Ancient Hellenic ancestry does not exceed more than 10.4% so overall these results prove that on a genetic level the modern day Kurds are largely genetically of Iranian descent which is very interesting and you can see that they only have minimal foreign ancestry so this means that they are also largely contiguous and with the majority of these samples they have greater than 85% genetic continuity. So here are the fits for the Kurds and you can see that they are excellent. So regarding these you can see that although for some of them they are higher than two in the majority of the samples they are not. So I believe there are only four of them which the fit is greater than two but for the majority of them they are not which means that these models are excellent and sound. Genetically what this means is that the Kurds are also largely contiguous and are largely genetically akin to other Iranian populations. So up next we have the Azerbaijanis. So you can see that they are 
Iran calculate the cancer uranium from 37.2 to 60.2 percent. Then you can see their Iranian from Yadan said uranium from 16 percent to as high as 29 percent. So it is significant here. But what's interesting here is that they elevated amounts of modern cocaine and uranium from around about 2 percent to as high as 35.2 percent. So it is significant here. Then you can see minimal East Asian answer you're not exceeding more than 6.4 percent. As well as late antique air bands, you're not exceeding more than 6.4 percent. So that's minimal as well. And then ancient Hellenic answer you does not exceed more than 8.2 percent. And finally, South Asian answer you does not exceed more than 7 percent. So these results prove that on a genetic level, the other Bajanis are largely of Iranian origin, so they have elevated ancestry from a modern Caucasian, from an East Asian, as well as from an ancient Hellenic source, which is quite interesting. Nonetheless, overall, these Azeris are largely again of Iranian descent, which is very interesting. So here are the fits for these models. So you can see that in all of these samples, they're not greater than two, which is very good. So what this means is that overall, these models for the Azerbaijanis are excellent and are very much validated by the scientific method. So yeah, that's essentially it for this phase of the video. The final phase of the video will take a look at the genetic origins of the Bandaris, the Baluchis, as well as Sistani populations residing within Iran. So the Baluchis analyzed here are from Iran and are not from neighboring countries such as Afghanistan or Pakistan. So for these populations, you can see that their ancestry deriving from an Iran calculatic source ranges from 21.2 to 40 percent. Their Aryan from Yadans and ranges from around about 23.6 to 33.6%. Their South Asian answer here ranges from 22 to 30.8%. Their late antique Arab answer ranges from 5.8 to 11%. They have a bit of sub Saharan African answer which peaks at 6%. And finally, you can see ancestry deriving from a sub Saharan African source appearing in three of the samples but not exceeding more than 6%. What should be noted here, however, is that you can see for the most part, these uh, uh, Balochis, Bandaris, and Sistanis are largely up around Calculate again, Aryan descent. Despite this, however, they do have elevated South Asian ancestry, alongside elevated amounts of Arabian as well as Sub Saharan African ancestry as well. Therefore, these results prove that the Bandaris, Baluchis, and the Sistanis are much more mixed than other Iranian populations. So, here are the fits for these models, and you can see again that. For the most part, they're good, but for two of the samples, they're higher than two. But for the boundaries, they're excellent. So this is likely due to the fact that the Baluchis and the Sistanis require additional Neolithic Iranian ancestry to be accurately modeled. So yeah, that's probably why here you can see that the fits are off. Nonetheless, these are good models anyhow. In fact, what this problem shows is that on a genetic level, these populations are not very Iranian compared to the other Iranian populations analyzed here. So yeah, overall this video took a look at the complete genetic history of ancient medieval and modern day Iranians and proved that there is indeed a great degree of genetic continuity in Iran since the Iron Age. What this means is that this video is a slap in the face of white nationalists as well as deluded Iranian nationalists such as Jason Reza Georgiani. So yeah, that's essentially it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.